Hello everyone, it's Neith here from the PhD Place, continuing my series reviewing academic tools designed to modernise your research workflow. Now the aim in this series is to introduce you to various research tools, test them out for you and hopefully help you navigate the huge amounts of options so that you can dive straight into the research. Now today I'm reviewing a tool called SciSpace, which is a well-established tool used by over 2.5 million researchers with over 287 million research papers in the bank for you to draw from. And today's video is sponsored by SciSpace, so we're digging into SciSpace tools, showing you how they work so you can decide whether to implement them into your research workflow. Now, it's hard to know where to begin with this review because the range of features packed into this single platform is impressively unique. And you can see this as soon as you visit their website. So if we have a quick look through, there's chat with PDF, there's an AI writer that helps you expand on notes um, into paragraphs and cite. There's a literature review tool, there's a concept finder, there's a data extractor, there's a paraphraser, citation generator, an AI detector, and a research PDF to video converter. So we just don't have time to explore all of these tools in one video. So I've decided to walk through the process of doing a literature review search and what that might look like because it's always a tricky part of any PhD and to be honest, any writing task that I know that lots of us do struggle with. And this tool can really support that search. So if we scroll back up, you'll notice here that there's a search bar where we can begin our literature search. So you can ask a question like, how does social media affect the college selection process? Okay, so let's take a look. So we've got some key insights on how colleges utilize social media, social media marketing, about the demographic influences, the challenges, etc. I absolutely love this feature. So you can just ask a question and it gives you some insights from the top five or 10 papers in the field when it's backed up and you know where to go next. And that of course is the list of papers. So they've devised this really useful column system here that helps you get straight to the information that you're looking for. So as you can see, the papers here on the left and then the key insights on the right. And you can select the papers that you want and ask SciSpace to provide more papers like the ones that you've suggested. You can chat with those documents using the chat tool, which I will talk about later, or hit export to get that list as a file should you need that for your research group, for your supervisors, or you just want to save it for later. But you can also go one step further than that. So say you're doing a review of the empirical literature and you want to see what methods people are implementing in the field, you just go ahead and add one of these extra columns. So you'd add a methods column, really simple. But this is also really useful when it comes to designing your own study. So we often take a look at what others have done in the field first and evaluate the success of those methods for ourselves. And there's lots of options here. So you could have a brief look at the results, the limitations, but another thing to play around with is these options along the top that help you select papers with PDF access, papers that are available through open access or top tier journals, as well as, of course, searching by year, publication type, keywords. And I don't know how they've done it, but SciSpace actually gives you access to quite a lot of papers through this PDF option, but also by signposting you to open access resources, which I thought was a really nice touch. Now, of course, it's worth mentioning that while using this tool can really help you save time, please, please, please do not try to use it as a magic wand because it's not here in place of you actually reading the paper. You absolutely have to read the papers that you've picked so that you can understand the content and how they can work in your literature review. But at least in this stage where you're just fielding through vast amounts of research, embracing this literature of search tool can help you speed up the process of sourcing literature and gain a real solid basis in your understanding. Ultimately, you're using this tool to save precious time that can be better spent actually reading the right papers. 
Okay, so we have our insights. We've used these to select some papers and we're ready to get reading and explore them in greater depth. Now, we're gonna use the chat with PDF tool. So let's choose a good paper. How about social media's influence on students' college selection processes? And you can also use your own PDFs, but let's go with this one. So scroll down to that paper and click chat with PDF and that chat will pop up. Now you can select the quality here. So I've got the most capable model active so you can answer deeper questions. And then down here, they do also suggest some questions, which is pretty helpful. So for instance, were there any unexpected or surprising results reported in these papers? And then within seconds, you get the AI generated answer. And you know, this doesn't have to be all sunshine and roses. Like if you wanna ask about the limitations of a study and bounce your ideas off the AI tool, then you absolutely can. And a really cool added feature is the ability to add and track notes within the SciSpace ecosystem. So you can just add anything that you find through the chat tool to your notebook, which is saved in your library for later reading. As I've mentioned, there are lots of different tools available through SciSpace, which makes it definitely worth giving it a go. They do offer a free version, of course, that's a little bit limited based on the amount of summaries, but I do think it's actually quite a generous starting point because it provides you a really, really good way of finding out whether you would like to purchase full access. That's all I have time for for today. I hope that you found this walkthrough useful. Please do check out all of the links and discount codes in the description of today's video. And if you have any questions, please do post them in the comments. I'll try my very best to answer them. Thank you so much for joining me today on The PhD Place. And as always, good luck in your academic journey.